Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talos Principle 2 tonight. We're nearly caught up to one section per evening here. We made it most of the way back. Uh, last time, we just have one, possibly two things to do in this area. Um, one of which is getting the, <clears throat> the star related to the little Prometheus spark thing that we now need to track down a second time here. Um, hey, Firetron, how you doing? We'll see you. Uh, so I think we're actually done with all the actual puzzles here, right? Yeah, more or less. I just need the star. Just need to find the star, and I think... Oh, it didn't save my actual location. Ugh. All right, let's go find where we should be, or where it should have been from the start, and then we can try to track it from there. Um, because I think it was... Let's see, I think it's the lit up star, right? Uh, what cool things did you miss? Well, I big-brained a couple of the puzzles in this area by doing them in almost certainly a way that was not intended. Um, but that's not really that special. <laughs> that's pretty par for me, honestly. Um, I think it was number five. It was either number five or number eight. I jumped in from outside to do the thing when I probably shouldn't have. But, uh, well, you know, that tends to happen sometimes. Um... Well, right now it's pretty, you know, pretty typical problem solving, I guess. Uh, okay, here's the Prometheus bit, right? And that should be pointing over, you know, roughly northeast-ish. Let's follow that. And then we did the, uh, we did the Pandora, uh, laser star thing. Um, and then we got eyes on the Prometheus one, but then we lost track of it, so now we've got to track it down again, so that's gonna be fun. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the two-hour time difference south on the uh, west coast there can be kind of rough. Both coming and going, really. <laughs> and adjusting back to it, right? I get you. I get you. Um, so I think it should be... Okay, here's where it started. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be back here so we can track it down, but I don't think it's going to. No, because it was just out by the, by the thing there. So let's see, if I remember correctly, we kind of, you know, ran down and around, and we followed the path a little bit. And, uh, it ended up... sort of over... Yeah, I think over here, by this little structure. And we ran around a bit. Um, and there's another one of the little, like, free puzzle bits. I don't care about that. Um, but we kind of ran around... And then it was, like, over here? And then it just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I didn't fucking see where it went from there. So, uh... We're gonna walk around a little bit and see if we can get eyes on it again. Because it kind of went up into the sky a little, and then it just vanished. Or it, you know, flew off up, like, further, and I couldn't see it. Which is probably more likely. We're gonna make a quick circuit around whatever this one was, number six, I guess, and see if we can see it. Because I honestly don't know where else it would be. I would think it would be in, like, visual range, right? It wouldn't go so far so fast that we couldn't find it again. And I don't think it would be in number six itself. Oh no, there it is, up there. It's on the little structure. Okay. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, I'll do a little tiny thing tab out to take care of this. One moment. One moment here. Bloop 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 um, all right, and it was right up here. Yeah, look at that shit. So they did intend you to crawl up these at some point. Oh, well, that's wild. Okay. All right, where are, you, where are you going now? Oh, you're going all the way fuck down there. All right, hold up. Wait for me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, no. Hurry. Get your legs back. Let's go. Oh, no. I lost track of it again. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. 
then, uh, okay, you're going over there. Oh, it's going right to it. Excellent. Good. I'm glad this didn't take too long at the start here. We got it. And he'll see his piece, I bet, right? Be like, ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Paradise cannot be found. Yeah, true. True enough, yeah. I, oh, that's it? That's all Prometheus had to say there? Okay. I mean, I, I agree, mostly, with that. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we have to do the, the main bridge building thing now, since we did all the puzzles, right? Got all the puzzles, got all the lost ones, did the lab thing, got the two stars, here we are. Okay. Then this one should be pretty straightforward, honestly. Let's build out the... Build out the things that we got here. It's probably that one, huh? And then, uh, not that, maybe that? Let's kinda keep going here. Uh, that, and then bonk, there we go. Okay, that one was pretty straightforward. Not a lot of option for fucking around there. Okay, and up we go. Oh, I thought the, oh, there we go. See, there was a patch between now and last time. They made these uh, elevator murder beams automatic. Oh, and we're ta okay. We get to talk to Prometheus this time. There we go. And he, my words. Don't get Beware bagged at Pandora. from Pandora, the Sphinx, she or something. Is nothing but fear and despair, and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. Mm -hmm. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx and who bound me in the. Oh, blah blah blah. Oh, Prometheus, you. Yeah. You missed that last word, the last couple words there. What were you about to say there, buddy? Ah, oh, whatever. What is this? Red murder beam? Yeah. Okay. Well. Well done, 1K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The mega structure is opening again. I mean, not. Everyone come to the veto, please. Yes, we're going back to the. Time to find Athena. Back to the murder we'll pyramid, huh? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. But not us. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. You know, I actually agree with Byron Just for keep once. Keep your eyes open. But you can't let these vague-ass whatevers stop us from doing things. Alright. That's, uh, straight-up hapsies of most things here, so let's, uh, let's go. Um... Yeah, travel to make a structure. There's something I've been thinking about. Oh, Byron thinking, that's a novel concept. I know the new Alexandria disaster is traumatic. Uh-huh. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. Uh-huh, okay, you what got me so far. What have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? Uh, are there some of those? The Rukowski building. Oh, okay. The Calvin Street explosion. Oh shit, that's the first time hearing of these there, Byron. That almost killed Benaroya and Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing in enough Jeez. resources in our civilization. Okay, I mean, that's rough. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. Okay. It will happen again, either way. Oh shit, Melville. The reality. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. The reality. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress. But, but there's also a price for not receiving. Okay. Wow, okay. It's, what a revelation there, Byron. Well, it could be this, but it could also be literally anything else. Oh, man. Okay, Byron, you had me through, like, the first half of that, but then you kind of fucked it up at the end. Hey, you go up and hey, game over. How, uh, how are the both of you doing? Good to see you. All right, but I guess we're going to go into the murder pyramid here. Do a little walkabout and see what we can see. Yeah, don't don't mind me, everyone. I just solved all those puzzles all right. back there. Here we go again. Nobody, nobody comment on that, all right? Worked Our hard. Objective is to determine the relationship between the mega structure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore. Dig up anything you can. We need to start finding. Whoa, jeez, Yakut, could you not pilot so close to the murder beams? Thank you. My goodness. One person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. <laughs> Bit of a headache, huh? Yeah. 
I hear you. I hear you. Headaches are no bueno. Any sort of aches are no bueno, to be honest with you. But sometimes they happen. Right. Are we are we talking privately in the big echoey area, Alcatraz? That seems like a bad idea, but sure. You can't wait to start exploring. Hell yeah. Just hear me out, okay? Okay. Yep. It's. No, I refuse. Like, yes, of course. I'm concerned. Yeah. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about hey, is the all right. of Yeah, okay. Athena. I'm with you, Alcatraz. She was his mentor. Uh-huh. And her disappearance shattered him. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers of the mega I mean, it's a little late. We're in we're inside. To me, this place seems chaotic. Okay. Dysfunctional. Uh-huh. Yes, it's all very impressive, but I think it's broken. And what we're seeing is, uh, it's nonsense, frankly. Okay. You've interacted with it more than anyone. What do you think? Well, what, do you, what do you want me to do? I'm just here to solve the puzzles. Uh, uh, let's see. I think all of it is intentional. We're meant to do something. You're right, it seems pretty broken. Okay. It is somewhat broken, but underneath that, there seems to be some kind of pattern. I don't have enough data to judge. Um, no, it's somewhat broken. <clears throat> I don't see it. Okay. Or at least I'm not convinced that the pattern is meaningful. Okay, I mean, reasonable. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Please, be careful. No, I was just gonna fucking go jump off the ledge. Yeah, of course I'm gonna be careful, Alcatraz. Like fucking idiot. <laughs> Whatever. I actually was gonna go jump off a ledge just to see what would happen, but, you know, maybe I won't. Just for Alcatraz's sake. I'm headed deeper into the mega structure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machine. Oh yeah, that's a good place to be, Byron. Watch yourself, Byron. Oh, this is incredible. It's Alcatraz is telling me to be careful. Like fucking. I don't think this is a building. Incredible. I think this is a machine. I mean, it could be both. Who was it that was waxing poetic about society or the universe being a machine or whatever? It's probably multiple people, actually. Like, it can be both. It does seem very machine-like. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, false leads, errors, frustration, effects are plotted at enormous distances. Need to move experience further apart. Oh, we're up to version point two now, huh? Okay. Large scale synthesis. Uh, replicating point two to create point twenty one. We can literally bootstrap this to any scale. Oh boy, that's dangerous talk there. But hey, let's open some doors. Oh, or not. <laughs> oh Jesus! Fucking. I should unplug the controller, honestly, because it's doing a vibrate there. I don't Why need that right now. If you tell them the truth, right. they'll listen. It's not that simple. Oh, Cornelius. Uh, mm. The most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality, when in fact the opposite is true. Wait, where are they? Where are they, where are they talking? Ideas from material conditions. Where, where are the glowy bits? systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. Okay, yeah, we sure. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. Really? We believed in the mandate of heaven. Because we lived in monarchs. Okay, no, I don't. I don't will. believe about. I don't believe oh, that. Free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. Well, okay. We're not free from the constraints of reality or history. I was shaped by the simulation. Uh huh. New Jerusalem is shaped by its limitations. So, what? We're just trapped. History can only go one way. I mean, that's the maybe, flow of time. Maybe not. The question is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world Excuse where me. our ideas Random debris. shape reality? Trying to have a conversation here, or listen to one. Here. Oh, well. Oh, whatever. Okay, so they're they're talking weird philosophy stuff. I knew it. Uh, what did you know, Byron? What? Built this. That doesn't prove shit. Another voice. Was that Cornelius? <sighs> It definitely sounded like Well, it. did you two not read the subtitles like I did? Yes, that was Cornelius. Search expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he died. And all this time, he knew where she was? 
We should talk to him. We will, when we get back. But right now, we <sighs> have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. For being fancy future human robots, man, some of us are real bad at reading subtitles. Like, yes, that was Cornelius. Who else did you think it was? But all right, we, we got some puzzles to do here, though. That'll, that'll make me happy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I probably want to be down there instead, right? Whee! 1K, I'm over here. It, but... Hold on. I'll open that door for you. Oh, gee, thanks. Are those surfaces magnetic? No, it's anti-gravity. Oh, is that all? I was right. I should have known. Anti-gravity. Oh, I was supposed to probably go over here instead of jump down. Ah! <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. You're jumping down is faster. But now we know those, those things do that, so, you know, we've learned. Alright, thanks, Byron, I guess. Whatever. The only time we'll be seeing that, I bet. Um, okay. So, ooh. Weird. Oh, it's the oh, we've got some bips and bops already, huh? All right. Hey. Okay. Yeah. And then, well, I guess that works. Oh, what? I mean, I'm just <sighs> fine. that and then this I guess there yeah now I can kind of just jump the like half a meter there whatever okay just need to tab out real quick there we go same pattern as before three beams three receivers yeah uh -huh. I guess we know what to do be careful the sheer oh, okay. This place. Here we go. Let's see Byron do this. this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? Oh, uh, no. I want to see this. I want to see you do this, you motherfucker. Huh? This is kind of fun. Yeah, huh? Alexandra Drennan was right. That's how it, it starts, Byron. Okay. Got it. Wow. So impressive, Byron. You solved a puzzle with one laser bit. Congratulations. What a monument to feature human robots you are. Fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, there was a box there too, but he didn't do anything with it. Did literally nothing. Here I am doing the well that one was pretty much in order, but here I am doing the hard work. Malcolm, is there anything in the system that could tell us where Athena is? I don't know. Someone's logged into the system. But when uh. I try to access that information, it all glitches out. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, I see. Think. Oh, it's not doing a, like the rotatey bit like I would expect. All right, hold on a second. Oh, there we go. And then, oh, I can't. It doesn't let me. Oh, what the hell? Is there a third thing to here? Okay, hold on. A second. Let's grab that. I guess that, and then that. Oh yeah. All right, look at that. <clears throat> Does that count? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, now we can do that. Okay. Oh, no, that's not gonna do it. Oh, we've only got the two pieces here. Okay. Oh. Alright. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. And then... Uh... <laughs> oh, I think I see. I'm supposed to step off there. Can I not? 
Oh. I need to move over here. There we go. Okay. That's a little weird. Oh, we'll allow it. Alright, here we go, finally. An actual puzzle. Okay, we got a button. Blue input. Red input. An inverter over there. And... Okay, a little storage bit. Accumulator. Uh, red. To give me the inverter, presumably, right? And then... Probably just do this. Wow, okay. That was a Byron class puzzle right there. Okay. Uh, Alright, and then the green one's all the way over there. Okay. All the way the fuck over there. Pull a casual Super Mario Galaxy, don't worry about it. Whoa, whoa, oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad there was solid ground beneath us there. Uh, Alright, where was the green puzzle now? Oh, is it over there? Yeah, it sort of is, I guess. Uh, alright. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that, wrong way. That, and that. There we go. Hmm. So could I come this way too, huh? Eh. There. Eh. Uh. somehow, huh? To play with this one, or maybe not. Maybe we don't. Oh, jump off. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, oh, well. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Um. I guess we can only defy gravity when we're standing on the surface, yeah? Just do this. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, all right. No. Uh, uh, sure, I guess. Uh. Uh. <laughs> eh. There you go. No. No. Okay. to work with there. Ah. Fudges this over there. Okay. There we go. Uh, well, maybe. No, oh, that didn't quite get us there. Can we not jump off of this and go? No, of course not. Not to alarm anyone, but I think the ground is shaking. According to the system, whole parts of the interior are moving around. Mm. Buckets. Rearranging itself. I, I think that. that's what happened last time. There, when I took start the elevator, this. the platform where I got out just moved there away. Go. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Um, no, I want to get back up there, though. Can we, uh, hit? Oh, 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 we did. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, um, yeah, okay. Careful with this. I mean, curse to golf. I got a pin that automatically destroyed all golf. Yeah, hell yeah. The one that uh, hits all the idols for you is really super good. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. I guess we're doing a puzzle upside down. That's fun. 
Uh, all right, so we got a tunnely bit, a normal laser, a red. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need that tunnely bit first, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that, and an inverter. Okay, red, 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 and then vert to blue, okay. And then we get a green, green source and a jammer. Uh, where's the green, uh, uh, a little receiver bit though? No, let's, let's grab this it's behind the, behind the wall here. No, okay. Uh, oh, it's probably behind this wall. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, well, I need the normal laser bit for that. There we go. So, wow, Byron saved us so much time by do solving the red puzzle for us. So he's gonna be the first one in there. Well, I mean... I guess that's fine. Like, if something bad's in that chamber, like, he, he'll be the first to find out. <laughs> so good luck, Byron, I guess. On my way presently, but, uh, you know. I can't. There we go. Uh, oof. It's kind of a little bit vertigo inducing to just go for it like that. Um, all right, so how do we, do we just go back up here? Uh, okay, can't make that jump. Can't make that jump. I guess we'll walk around. <laughs> bonk, and then, hey, look at that. Alright. That was the door that opened, right? Ah. Looks like the uh, first side of the murder pyramid that we were in before. Uh, Byron gets... You shouldn't the stick your hand in the glowy Finn bits. And Cornelius. They had a plan. I found a file that... oh. Yeah, oh, uh, uh, Byron's toast I here, I isn't he? I, 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 I... Oh. oh, shit. Byron's trapped in the overload. He's failing to disconnect. The whole system's going haywire. 1K, get out of there. I mean, the oh, shit. Oh, no. Just fucking give me a second to have a drink, all right? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay. All right, well, let's just take a look around. See, like, there's no timer or anything, so... figure I'm probably pretty safe. Yeah, okay, well, he's good and stuck in there, so, you know what, good luck, Byron. Uh, things are shaking up a little bit here, but not terribly threatening. <laughs> really not threatening at all. All the way the fuck back over there, huh? Oh, but all those are busted. Okay. What have you done, you fools? Ah, shut up, Pandora. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> We're not mortals. We're like immortally robot human things. Uh huh. 
rest of your kind. Uh huh, sure. What more must I do to make you understand? If you cannot be reasoned with, I must buy your part. Uh huh. Yeah, that's gonna work out pretty damn well, isn't it? Like, he. Yeah, uh, you know what, Pandora? I dare you. Put up some more puzzles in our path. I dare you. That'll keep us out. I mean, it'll keep pretty much everyone out. It won't keep me out. But it'll, it'll, it'll keep most of everybody else out. Tempted to try to make that jump. Mm. No. These energy emissions are messing with the Beatles systems. Okay, I think I've got it working. Oh boy. Very confident sounding there, you coot. I think the seatbelts connect. <laughs> I think they're fine. It's very, it's very kind of concerning. Hopefully the door still works. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, that was like a two out of ten escape sequence. Extremely not threatening. Come on, come on, get in. Just relax, man. Jeez, what do you think is gonna happen? Just for that, I should have turned around and walked back in. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I guess the murder pyramid living up to its name, Byron's Looks probably like gone. The sites are active. The readings are strangely jumbled, though. Should I set us down? Yes, but just to drop off Melville. What? No! Drop me off, too. I'm gonna do some puzzles! This situation has gotten out of control. Oh, we need to Alcatraz! Rushing in blindly isn't gonna save Byron. I know you're the first officer and all, but who died and made you- Oh, right. Sorry. I'll see if I can make any sense of these systems while you're gone. Just keep a safe distance, okay? <sighs> Will do. Safe Good. distance. Whatever. Like, I wasn't... Okay. Uh, I guess it's time for you and me to take a nap. No, what do you mean? No, drop me off with Melville. I wasn't in any danger doing the puzzles. Ah, can't have any fun. Ugh. Oh, no. Do we get to I listen to... Oh, shit. In these difficult moments... Uh. Find solace in your friends and in the home that you share. Uh huh. Sure, Elohim, whatever. It's very profound. Here we are. Got an update from Melville. The power spikes are continuing, but no news from Byron. All right. Thank you, Yakut. I mean, I was kind of wondering if we were going to head back to the city at any point, so this makes sense. Yeah, because it's totally his fault that Byron fucking ran in like an idiot. Whatever. I guess I was trying to find Cornelius before anyway, so, I mean, this works. Oh, right, and then we can meet up with uh, whoever it was that What's-His-Nuts introduced us to. The world is full of suffering. Every living organism suffers. Animals kill other animals to eat. Yeah, I mean, and that's... Uh, ends with death, that's life for you, buddy. Wasting away. This is what surrounds us. This is what's happening outside those walls. Every hour of every day. It's our ethical responsibility as sentient beings to lessen suffering. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. That's what it means to be human. To understand that it is your duty to transform this world into something better. Yeah, That's okay. what the founder meant when she said that we can turn the world into a work of art. Despite what happened to him, Byron was Wait, right. Wait, how do they know what happened to Byron to already? Going. Oh, that's right, I forgot that we're live-streaming this to the rest of the robot humans. And you want us to dig deeper? 
Just because you can't accept that suffering is natural and necessary? Please, everyone, stop using the public frequency. Yes, thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> interface or speak in person. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they give everybody an FM transmitter nowadays, huh? Good gravy. All right, well, we're here. What can we do? Who can we talk to? Nobody. Nobody wants to talk to us. All right. Yeah, don't mind me. Just solved all this puzzle back here. All right, yeah, no big deal. May the founder be with you. Hmm. All right. Um, hold up a second. Let's. Oh, good. There's more social media shit. Uh, suffered a serious setback. Byron's gone. Um. Assumed to be alive, but blah blah blah. Uh, lack of surprise at this turn of events. <laughs> oh no, everybody knew Byron was gonna eat it. Uh, I guess people thinking about the dangers of populism has been alarming to see people suddenly falling for this utopian foolishness. Wow, what a thread, two posts. Um, very happy to announce the Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open. The three winning works at the Gehenna Memorial Pavilion. All right. Okay, we can go look at that, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> oh no, they're actually mourning Byron. Um, peasant family, blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. F's in chat for Byron. Rip Byron. Rip Byron. TLDR. Rip Byron. <laughs> oh, by post five, everybody's like, nah, we don't know that he's actually dead. Um. Let's say something sarcastic, but you know what? In the spirit of optimism, I really hope so. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm into that. Um, let's see. Where were we? Oh, Helga. Where were we supposed to meet Helga? Um, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Where are you? In the heart of the city. Uh, the gardens. Okay, we can go do that. Hi. Uh, hello? Oh, hey. Oh, no. It's all... See, I told you. Oh, huh? Athena who sent Prometheus. Uh, How do you know it was Athena? Yeah, I'd like because to know that. Because she's the one who built the giant pyramid. How do you know that? Sure. But how do you know it wasn't Cornelius who sent Prometheus? Because Cornelius was here. And where did Prometheus appear? Here? Uh, come on. How do you know it wasn't Miranda? Maybe she got bored of waiting. I don't buy it. I think Athena is testing us. Why would she test us? To see if we can use those new technologies, like the uh, body replication. If those new technologies are such a big deal, why is she putting them in puzzles? Because puzzles are fun. Because play is how we learn. Hey, you see? That guy Maybe gets it. Maybe she's trying to tell us the opposite. That it's all just childish stuff. Hey, that Doesn't could also be true. Matter. The last power failure almost caused a derailment. It all matters. You're starting to sound like Byron. Saw how that turned out. Oh, wow, They'll too soon. Sure. Sure. You know, if they, they voiced these two, like Waldorf and the other, like, old, old Muppet dude, I would have paid more attention to that. But all right, let's talk to Atal, I guess. Nice to meet you, 1K. Uh -huh. My name is Atal. Yeah, I know. I heard I've you on the public broadcast there. As you can tell, your discoveries have had quite the impact. I guess. All right. Yeah, I heard your speech. Kind of hard to miss it. I decided to take a stand. Uh huh. It started with our cats. Damien and I have had a lot of them over the decades, and I've watched every last one of them grow old and die. Yeah, that's now what I'm happens to biological creatures. Towards other life forms. They get old and die. To most living creatures. Fear. Hunger. Yeah. yeah. Pain. Okay. And in the end, death. Uh-huh. Life's a in bitch and then you die. Yes. Of existence. That's what happens. That's horrifying. One can't it sure die. is. <laughs> and we are the only ones who can Sure fuck it is, buddy. Like, so, so what, all right, what's, what's his point? I'd, what's what's their ethical duty in this? If like, I mean, he already evil, said, really. 
then our <clears throat> responsibility is to lessen it. Okay. Not only in ourselves, but everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can eliminate it, but we can lessen it, and we have to. Okay. So what are you going to do about it then? Besides, you know, barf all over the public airwaves? Um, would you say this is our purpose? In a way, yes. Okay. I don't think it's our exclusive purpose, but it's a role that falls to any sentient species capable of developing science and technology. Uh, okay. Sure. Let's let's embrace that. Do that. It's more than most people do. But that might be changing. Okay. Okay. Well, what the fuck do you think I'm doing? Eh? I'm solving the puzzles. What more do you want from me? Very enthusiastic reading. Hello. All oh boy. The Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Yeah, we know, Jeremy. We saw the social media post. However, please note that due to an unauthorized strike, public transport will be temporarily unavailable. Um. May the founder be with you. Excuse me, Jeremy. Not to pick nits here, but a strike is by definition unauthorized. That's the whole fucking point. Ugh. All right, whatever. Oh, hey, it's all good. Hello, new one. Uh, Are you browsing or buying? I'm, you know, we, uh, we met. I'm browsing? I've uploaded my most popular items to your interface. Oh, okay. Does anything there spark your imagination? I fucking, I, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What, what's, what stuff? What are you talking about? Can we look? Oh, no, we can't. We're locked into this convo. Okay, uh, credits? Oh, you don't have any credits yet. No, I've, like, since I've woken up, I've Let just done puzzles. Send you some credit. Ka -ching. Uh, 55 credits. Wow, thanks. Just I... make sure you spend them with me. They're not worth much anywhere else. I see. Itchy and scratchy now, dollars. Got it. What was it you wanted? <sighs> I mean, I'm... <laughs> Inner peace. <laughs> Inner peace. Ooh. Inner peace doesn't come cheap. Oh man. Come back when you've got a thousand credits. I am regretting this already. I don't think I'll be able to buy uh, Inner peace with itchy and scratchy dollars. So something else, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, um. Fucking. Uh, uh, I don't know that any of these are a good choice. Uh, sensory tuning? A very popular choice. Uh-huh. Enhanced sensory perception lets you distinguish sounds, shapes, oh. and colors at great hey, distance. Hey, that will be very useful for Extend puzzle solving. Credits. I give me. Okay, I'm updating your settings now. And hey, presto. What? Superhuman senses. We're already... Does the air taste fresher? No. Do you hear the birds chirping outside the door? No. And no. And beyond that, the river bubbling through the dam. Also no. I mean, I can hear the, the birds and shit, but I think that's in the dome. Yeah, sure, I can... Yeah, whatever. Okay, phew. I let you into a secret. It's all bunk, you isn't it? You don't have fleshy appendages <laughs> like our ancestors. What we can sense is mostly a function of where we direct our attention. Okay. Anyway, I hope you find something worth paying attention to. Mm. Yeah, don't so, we all? something else, perhaps? Um, it's fucking, I don't... All right, sure. Internal mono mo mo monologue. With the following disclaimer. Uh huh. Internal monologue was discontinued as a default feature in new builds. Okay. Constant self commentary is not recommended for all customers. <laughs> but I can switch yours on for ten credits if you're sure you want it. Uh, uh sure. As you wish. Better be voiced I'm by. I'm uploading the new settings now. If it's voiced by Wayne June, anything? I want it. Why is she staring at me? Oh, shit! I don't hear anything. I'm not sure this is working. Wait, no. This is new. I didn't used to think in words like this. It's like, <laughs> there's this little translator turning all my thoughts into some kind of ongoing narrative. Yeah, no. It's kind of relentless. How do you make it stop? How do you I make it stop? Uh-huh. I'll try that. 
All right, perfect. We did it. Oh, this is boring. working. <laughs> Still describing everything in words. This is starting to be a bit overwhelming, isn't it? I I turned mine off long ago. Oh, I but some of the want. older folk learned to live with it. Sure you want it? I Sure? That's fortunate. Because it cannot be turned off. Because we couldn't pull that thing out of you <laughs> without taking <laughs> half of you with it. Keeping It'll right. mostly run in the background. Mostly. Just don't think about it too hard. Wait, is this internal monologue me? Or some kind of virus? Yeah. Am I a life form which learned to describe itself? Yeah. Or a Sapiens. Which survives by providing a narrative service to its host? Oh, okay. Battlefish. She's going to say something else. So, something else, perhaps. <laughs> Okay, um, predict the future. Why not? We're going all in on the bunk here. Let's go. Into your future and tell you what I see. Mm hmm. Sure, you got a deck of tarot cards or perhaps my horoscope? Let me consult the algorithm. Oh, hey, even better. Modern oh. version of it. Oh, dear. I'm afraid you're going to change the world. You will have a choice, but whatever you do. New Jerusalem will never be the same wow. again. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's closer I'm to a sorry horoscope. It's not better news. Mm hmm mm hmm Best not to worry about it, dear. You just do your best to have fun in the meantime. So something else, perhaps. Okay. All right. Uh, clean start. What does that mean? I can give you that for free. Oh wow. My so generous. Darling, you've been alive all of five minutes. No, like twenty Let's hours. Your clean start. Oh wow. Be who you want to be. Enjoy yourself. Okay, good thing that was free, because that so, was bullshit. something else, perhaps. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Like, uh, we already got the horoscope thing, and the inner piece is too expensive. You know, that's, that's it. Before you go, <clears throat> you have a moment to Oh, yeah, here we go. Customer feedback. Customer feedback, baby. Are you satisfied with what I've given you? Um... <laughs> Never ask me again, seriously. Oh, that's too honest. That's too honest. Um, sure, you're offering more than you let on. Yes. You understand. Yeah, sure do. Words manifest the reality they describe. Uh-huh. When you name something, you create it. Our minds are algorithms. Uh-huh. And the right sequence of language can change our underlying code. Uh, With that in mind. I hope you have a good day. Please come back if you need anything else. Oh. What an unusual person. I wonder if that internal monologue thing I bought is going to show up again. Oh no. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh no. <laughs> I think I've done a terrible bad. All right, well, you're the one that wanted to talk to me before, though. Like, I didn't want to buy your weirdo shit. I just wanted what to... What can I do for oh, you? Oh, see, you do know my name. Um, oh, that's it, huh? Okay, never mind. Please come back <clears throat> if you need anything else. All right, I expected more of the, like, the inner circle shit from before, but no, okay, whatever. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess we should go talk to Cornelius, then. Now that we've got the whole inner monologue thing sorted. Uh, that's obviously Cornelius. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to actually engage! Okay. Oh, no, that's Neath, sorry. What are you doing here? Or Neath, Neath. Um, uh, looking for Cornelius. Ah, I assume it has something to do with your expertise. No, completely unrelated. I admit I haven't been following the news. That's uh, probably for the best. Don't Sorry. ask about Byron. Been a little lost lately. Um, are you all right? News can wait. Uh, are you okay? No. Oh. Really. Oh, okay. When you asked me what I would do now that my job is redundant, I. Mm. I don't know. Did I, I ask that? I, I think I did, it. right? Sorry. I had just focused on getting there. And after you left, it all just uh -oh. rushed over me. Mm. The truth is, I don't know who I am without this. Creating new life. At least you got yourself a sick-ass color existence. scheme, though. That's, that's a very cool color. I like that. More importantly, I think... I think that's who I want to be. Okay. And if we stop growing, that's the one thing I can't be anymore. That's why I wanted to talk to Cornelius. Oh, so you don't he know where he is. He was there at the beginning. Okay. He knows where we came from. All right. But... I thought he might help me understand where I could go next. Uh. 
No, but... I... You know what? Let's be optimistic. You can find a new calling. I hope you're right. We are. Don't it's worry. It's hard to imagine right now. Yeah, you know. I liked who I was. Doesn't mean yeah. you have to stop you being who you were. For Cornelius? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, that's... Uh, well, I suppose it shouldn't really come as a surprise. They were very close, you know. Mm -hmm, After mm -hmm. she disappeared, he went away for a long time. On a research expedition, he said. Oh, hey, I just got back from one of those. To be honest, everyone assumed he was working out his grief over being left behind. Many of the first companions were deeply shocked by her decision. Was Byron a first companion? He Byron. was, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she just said Byron. All right, well, where the fuck is That's he? That's the thing. Nobody I knows! I to talk to him about my future. But he wasn't responding to my messages. Mm. So I came here to talk to him, and he seems to have vanished. Mm. Well, <clears throat> uh, did you check where he lived? I did, Lives. on my way here. Okay, yeah, okay. And I messaged most of his other friends. All right. He doesn't seem to be anywhere in the city well, at all. Well, that's kind of troubling. Um, any idea where he might be? No. The truth is that for the longest time, he barely left the museum. He was always at his terminal, working day and night. On what? I asked him what he was doing once, and he said he was saving the past. I see. Uh, can I go look at his terminal? I suppose so. Well, wow. It it was just like that, huh? Ethical, but then... But then, you know, fuck ethics, right? Work terminal, right? Yeah. Screw everything. Nobody has privacy. With everything, 1K. Uh, thanks, thanks, I guess. For taking the time to talk to ah, me. you're welcome, Neith. You've been good to us for the like two minutes we've interacted. Um. Oh, it's yellow slash purple, right? Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So glad you're okay, dude. Mm -hmm, Especially mm -hmm. after what happened to Byron. All right. Yeah. Uh. What, what's What's up? Well, how's How are things going around here? Folks have been saying maybe that Byron dude is right after all. Like, well, I, really well let's not go so far, you know. Something new and bodacious. I mean, yeah, I mean that's a good idea. What happened now that he's had that bogus accident? <laughs> bogus accident. Uh, have you ever met Cornelius? Yeah. Uh huh. I come here all the time. Okay. He's a wise dude. I've asked him a lot of dumb questions, and he's always taking the time to answer. Okay, so we know that Cornelius is patient. That's good. I right, have a nice day, dude. <laughs> oh, this is this is Cornelius's terminal? It's just kind of sitting out in the middle of this. All right. Uh, notes. Uh, lab location inaccessible. Deliver it. Unclear. User profile. Yes. Gold puzzles as a barrier. Yes. Hidden as self-protection. Likely. External help for upload. Yes. As Kerman. No. Trust 1K. Undecided. Oh, come on, Cornelius. Uh, applicable to Calvin. No. Applicable to Cerebi. Nima. Yes. Okay. Well, that last one's kind of troubling. All right. Oh, well, it's rec final two underscore test. Use this one. To <laughs> copy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh shit. Uh, oh no. What? No, I didn't want to send it to Yakut. I wanted to read it myself. What was that? Oh shit. What Cornelius was working on? I don't know. Maybe. Strange. It looks a bit like the blueprints for the Somnodrome, but uh, no, it's not quite that. Is he trying to isolate something in the buffer? Did... Maybe Melville can make sense of it, but I think this might be a dead end. Uh. I need to finish up with the mayor. You can head back to the VTOL whenever you're ready. I'll meet you there. No Jeez. rush, though. <laughs> right? <It's> like, <laughs> never discount the human ability to name shit poorly, right? Good gravy. All right, and what was the other thing we could do? The the Gehenna Memorial Exhibit or whatever, right? Um, where to? was that do we have an, a literal map here that we can look at no this is all the puzzle maps and shit oh we can go talk to somebody else oh okay uh well what do we got going on here we deserve a functional city we sure as fuck do and public transportation must be safe it sure as fuck must all right damien what's up what are you doing 
Welcome back, 1K. Thank you. Thanks again for signing that petition. You're welcome. Fortunately, as you can see, it wasn't enough. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's up? What's going on? Yesterday there was a sudden brownout in the grid and we Oops. almost had a derailment. Yeah, that's no good. Warning the mayor for months and all he ever gives us is waffle about the goal. Mm. This can't go on. No, that doesn't sound great. Um agree with you, but your methods are well, this seems pretty like tame, honestly. I guess you're doing is wrong, the city needs stability right now. No. I disagree with you, but I support your right to strike. I no, I actually agree with them. Um, I fully support you. Thank you. Your support means a lot <clears> to us. <throat> we need to get through to people. All right? Uh, did you hear what's his nuts of speech? <laughs> I heard it 15 times when he was practicing. <laughs> oh no. I think Atal, like many of us, feels that the time for change is long overdue. The technology you uncovered on the island is the final catalyst for that change. Is it or, though? It should be. Mmm, I should go. But hey, cool. Like, yeah, power, man, power. Um, sometimes quite literally. Uh, may the founder be with you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, do 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 do. -do. Oh, here. I think it's over there. This the this the thing here? Yeah. One of the things probably Oh hey, what's up? Welcome to the Gehenna Memorial oh, wow, uh, Action Exhibition. Neam, you changed oh, your you. you changed your colors like right quick. No, go back to the there when everything went sideways. Do Wait. you think Byron will be alright? No, go back to the cool teal color you had before. What the fuck? I mean uh, alright, well what's wrong with Byron? Um, I don't know. Like, I survived like a half dozen of the overloads. I think he'll be fine, but I don't know. He's stuck in a fucking. That sounds dangerous. I mean, you. Yeah. Make sure you find him and pull him out. Yeah, well. He is a menace. But we need him. <laughs> He's a menace. But anyway, you come to take a well fucking great. break from your expedition. Uh, so sure. Let's talk about something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's, uh, I mean, I know what Gehenna is, but what's Gehenna? Gehenna was a place in the simulation. It's a prison. A prison. Yeah. Where Elohim exiled the mines that didn't. Think well, Elohim is a piece in of shit. Time, the prison became a community with a culture of its own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what happened to everybody in Gehenna besides the one who in escaped, which is me? In the moments of the simulation, Elohim <clears throat> realized what he'd done and sent his messenger Uriel to free the prisoners. Was that us in the Gehenna the DLC? We were Uriel, right? And their legacy is part of all I think that's what it was, right? Yeah. Um, why text adventures? Text adventures were one of the few art forms available to the people of Gehenna. Mm. By continuing to work in that medium, we keep their memory alive. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's let's go deep here. How do you see the role of the artist in society? I don't think the role of the artist should be reduced to any hey, single Hey, there we go. That's a good answer. The artist isn't an educator or a moralist. Uh -huh. Art isn't about teaching us lessons or imparting values. Yeah, okay. Nor do I think it's simply self-expression. It's a bunch of things, right? The best art reaches out beyond the self into something ineffable. Mm -hmm. The creative mm -hmm. impulse can't really be quantified mm. or predicted mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's why artistic freedom is so profoundly essential without the freedom to shock to offend to transgress art becomes stagnant okay yeah all right uh where's cornelius <laughs> if it's true that he knew where athena was then he's gone back to the island oh okay There's no way he'd ever leave her uh, all right. He must have some kind of plan. Uh, mm. But I don't know more than that. He's been very private these last few centuries. Oh, just these last few centuries, huh? Okay, thanks, I guess. Also, go back to your teal. The teal was better. All right, Ghost of Atlantis, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's take a look at one of these. Oh, wow. This is, uh... This is something. Okay, uh, start. The red sun burns bright in the sky, scorching the dying earth. Okay. 
Go north. We are about to be eaten by a Gru. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's, Broken Tower? Sure. Uh, the first motion was stretched in the remains of a tower. You lived a great magician who advised King, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Very little left. Anyone, anyone else would be a pile of rubble covered in black, dried up moss. You can see a glimpse of the past. Yeah, yeah. Ghost of the Magician. All right. Talk to the Magician. You need more wisdom to learn magic. Uh, Great Marvel. Uh -huh. Glimpse of the Sublime, and although I am dead, my soul has spent an eon under the sea. That vision is not lost to me, even now I can summon it and reveal it fully. If I do, I finally witness the Sublime in all its glory, but I believe that in this moment, my soul will be annihilated. Is that a fate I should embrace or reject? Um. Well, I mean, there's, there's a gradient there, right? I guess not, huh? I mean, if you've lived for an eon already, wouldn't you want to, like, try something else? Liberty. I lingered here too long. I turned away from you towards the world beyond your sight. Red lights to him. You cannot tell. He's laughing and screaming. Then he's gone. Okay. Cool. One point, I guess. Uh, Lost short, please. Hey, the face on the beach for children. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the color of the dying sun. I talked to the poet. I never completed my great work. There were too many priests and censors interfered. Oh, okay, well, that's that's a bullshit excuse. Uh, it did not allow me to create what I intended because they feared the free and true expression of the poetic genius. And then came the earthquakes and the waves and the long, long ages under the sea, and now this time of burning death. And yet still, I long for its completion. My soul imagines what it could have been. Um. <laughs> you must accept that your work cannot be finished because you're fucking dead. I mean, yes. And I curse you all, time and space and people and gods too. You strangled the one true thing I- Yeah, okay, uh-huh. It's our fault you didn't do your shit. Uh-huh. Nah, man. Nah, man. You only got one person to blame for that. The one truly good and noble thing, blah, 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 and then it's gone. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, Temple of the Owl. Bigger and brighter, time is running short, and it's the Temple of the Owl, the greatest scientific institution. Okay. Get some science. And try to understand the secret laws of the cosmos, so their studies did not advance far enough to prevent their fate. Goes to the scientist. Okay. Let's talk to the scientist. Maybe he'll be more reasonable. Uh, I've not rested in death. In fact, death has provided ample opportunity for study. I've learned much about the machinery of creation. I would like to join you, but I fear that the truth I have discovered will offend and outrage many. Um, well... Outrage should not prevent compassion. Very birds, though few can endure their consequences. Still, even merely speaking them as bold, so I will join you and hope that you will stand by them. Hell yeah. Let's go. Two two points. Two points. I'm gonna call the uh, the poet a loss because he was making excuses. Uh, Temple of the Serpents, please. <clears throat> Take away the Temple of Serpents, which once was the greatest hospital in all of Atlantis. The sick and the injured came here from all over the island. Blah, 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 blah. All that is left is a labyrinth of low walls and the ghost of the physician. It's faint, barely visible. Uh, let's talk to the physician's ghost. And tell him to heal thyself. Uh, I worked here day and night for many years, and I saved countless lives. <clears throat> and yet, of all the lives that I saved, only one survived the death of the island. A young messenger escaped on one of the ships thanks to another sacrifice, and I've wondered... Many times since, is my work in vain? The burden of this question is eroding my soul. No, you tried to help. That is not in vain. Um, because death comes to all in the end. I mean, that's kind of a cop-out response. No, because you saves one life, saves all lives. Okay. No, because that messenger is my ancestor. <laughs> wow, it's very self-centered. No, because all lives are worth saving, no matter the future. Yes, that is correct. You're right. My burden is not eased by this truth, but I cannot surrender to oblivion. He becomes more visible. Hell yeah. Three points. Join me, please. I will join you. There's still good I can do, even as a ghost. Hell yeah. All right. We're doing it. To the ancient farmlands. They used to be rich, life-giving, generations of humans, yada yada yada. Not all life is gone. Something has been revealed underneath the soil. City of unimaginable antiquity. Ghost of the farmer. All right. Talk to the farmer. What's up? City is older than the capital. It's older than Atlantis itself. 
yada yada yada. There's light in his eyes that is not of this world. Are you willing to swear fealty to the city across the boundaries of time and space? No. I don't know anything about that city. Are you kidding me? No. Oh. <clears throat> and the city will not be there for when you need it, and you will fail. But you are young, so very young, you will find the city elsewhere in time and have another opportunity. Okay, well then that did, did nothing. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's go to the palace, I guess. Uh, this is the very heart of Luna, the capital of Atlantis. You're the greatest artist and craftsman, yada yada yada. <clears throat> These things, like everything else, are gone now. Only a single remnant of the Atlantean world remains. That is perhaps the most precious, a great mosaic telling the history of Atlantis. Before it waits the ghost of the king. Alright. King me. Try to be a good man, to be kind, to balance justice with mercy, to honor the gods, to support the peasant and scholar alike. And yet I failed. Why? Oh boy. You failed because you were immoral. <laughs> That's rough. All kings must fail. It is not your fault that you were born a king. You did not fail. We are here. You failed because you put yourself above others and hoarded luxury. I mean, that's probably true, but we don't know if it is. Um, but I suppose some of us still exist, so you did not fail. We are here. Speak kindly. I know that I am not without blame, but in the end, I chose to save others before myself, so perhaps you are right. I did not fail entirely. There we go. Three points. I'll join you, but only as a man. Hell yeah! There we go. That's what we wanted. I think. I think it's a work of supreme, uh, superb beauty. Great work of his history and humanity. In it, you see reflected all the hardship, tragedy, hope, triumph, and heartbreak. This is what you came to find. All right. Get it, I guess. You cannot put the mosaic into your pocket. Um, forces of time are too powerful, and the strength of a single person is not enough. Well, we've got, what, three, three, three ghosts with us, right? Yeah. Even with the help of the ghosts, you cannot entirely pry the mosaic loose from the morass of history, but you succeed at removing a large part depicting the golden age of the island. It will have to do. Hell yeah. I mean, that's probably the most important bit of it, right? Strange, very strange feeling fills your heart as you return to your ship. You did not fail, yet so much was lost. Could you have done better? Should you have? The sun engulfs the earth, and you wonder what will be remembered of your own time. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, three out of five seems pretty good. I didn't really feel much like saving the poet. He seemed like kind of an asshole to me, but, you know, whatever. Okay, well, that's, that's enough of that. Uh, okay, I guess we've done what we came here to do, right? We talked to, well, no, we didn't talk to Cornelius, but we, we hacked into his terminal. We read his public files. He did not chamod them very well, so we were able to see them. Um... But I guess we can get out of here now. We can go back to doing puzzles. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi, I guess. Um, where's our, where's our quest marker here? Oh, it's in the tower, right? Uh, hello? Oof. Uh, I was having a rough go of it there. Let's see where else, what else we got. There's the gazebo, the Memorial Pavilion, which we checked out. We did one of the things. Hello. Hi there. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's, yeah, you know, let's go back. Listen to the wisdom oh, of the ancient no. writers, or we will fail the founders' trust. Uh huh. Doom and gloom, etc. What? No, the murder pyramid is our friend, though. Uh, it's, okay. Oh, that's the one. He, that's the dude who is just like being like, ah, rah, 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 rah. All right, yeah, what's up, Melduke? You are the founders chosen. What? Who says but that? You are in grave danger of going astray. Uh huh. Heed my words, one K. Probably not. If you fail this trial, a year from now, New Jerusalem will lie in ruins. So say the soothsayer. And you know this how? Anyone can see the truth. If they are willing to open their eyes. Uh-huh. Have you not read the books of our ancestors? In every one of them, the same story is told. Again and again. Okay. That the pursuit of knowledge can only lead to death and grief. That is what all the great ancient visionaries foresaw. Listen to their warnings. Seek happiness 
in tranquility mm. and avoid ambition. Mm -hmm. You know what? Why don't you trade voices with Purple? He deserves a cool voice. You do not. Uh, I don't think all ancient writers believe that. There were other strands of thought. Easily become a self fulfilling prophecy when you can no longer imagine a better future, you cannot build one. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, so there must be a reason those ancient writers kept repeating that theme. Well, aside from not having any good material. Um, yeah, let's go with the deep one self fulfilling prophecy. The very idea et of a better future is what's rotten. That is what the ancients were trying to tell us. What? All the problems of the world come from those who think the world needs to be improved. No, no, -uh. no. All the problems of the world come from the people who think there used to be a good old days and want to go back to that shit. No, fuck that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you are a moron of the highest order. Um, yeah, yeah. You are a moron of the highest order. Crude. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, I'm can. happy to disappoint you, you piece of shit. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> you idiot. Fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, fucking. You know, when they talk about people who are first against the wall, they're talking about people like that. Fucking, that's fucking great. I didn't even need to look at those other responses. They're, those two just fucking stood right out as the absolute best ones to take. Alright, fuck that guy. We're gonna go do some puzzles. Oh, oh, good. You know, I'm gonna preemptively say this meeting could have been an email. Attending today are advisors from engineering, the archive scholars, and... Helga. <laughs> yes, don't mind me. I'm just an admirer of governmental transparency. Uh, yes, well, oh, okay. While the mayor is briefed by Alcatraz, he's asked us to review recent events. Okay. Byron's loss has unsettled us all. We don't know that he's it dead. Wow, you're just fucking continue. saying that he's just out there. Oh, good, yeah. It's, it's, look at the new guy who's been alive for like 20 hours. Um... Uh... Um... Uh, there's one big puzzle that's halfway solved. We can't quit now, baby! It is all deliciously mysterious, isn't there we it? go. Let's not forget the dam's falling apart. Yeah, true. We can't depend on Hydro forever. Okay, yeah. With just a fraction of the power that island can generate, we could grow this city into a planetary society. Or quite possibly destroy ourselves in the process. I mean, potato, potato. Um, I should be. Why are they looking at me for all this shit? Like, haven't they been around for almost like a millennium? Ugh. We trust ourselves to make good as the opportunity. We should beware the fate of those who wield power beyond their reckoning. Ugh, okay. We have more important matters to discuss. I don't know. Like, I'm forever the optimist, right? We should trust ourselves. Words from one so young. Yet I submit that island holds secrets far more valuable than mere energy generation. Mm -hmm. What could be more important? The Somnodrome, of course. Uh, oh the shit, this is Rand, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. moral and self understanding. Mm -hmm. The question of how we should build New Jerusalem would simply be moot. Mm hmm? How? Why? Yeah. What's the up? The drone was supposed to let us interact with our own subconscious core. Oh. It's a cool idea, but it wouldn't necessarily solve all Yeah, no. Problems. Trust My someone whose profession is coding. You don't want to dip into that shit, all right? It's what makes us human. You know, no, no, you don't want to. It is only indirect. Yeah, that's a good our idea, though. Has created art. Philosophy and unparable to help bridge that gap. Uh -huh. The Somnodrome would help us to cut out the middleman and ask the source directly. Uh -huh. We we'll finally have an answer to the great moral questions. Uh huh. Really? So, 
It's a newfangled way to make the same old mistake <laughs> of judging who's good and who's bad. Ah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, but only because I didn't have a choice. It was a prototype with substantial design flaws. But there may be a working device elsewhere on the island. Okay. Then the question is, what would one gay do if they found it? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just here to solve puzzles. Ugh, I, um. No, I probably wouldn't destroy it. I don't know if I like this government in particular. I sure know the people would be a bold choice. I'd let the scholars investigate, that's probably a good choice. Um, I would keep an open mind, is what I would do. <coughs> What do you mean, no? That's not a whim! But it's so much more fun when we're kept in suspense. <sighs> what do you mean? That's not a fuck you, Rand. That ain't a whim. What's best for this city? Do you ever think you might be so busy changing the world for the better? Fucking on a You'll whim, my ass. You'll forget to see that it's perfect already. Uh, um. um. So clearly there are different perspectives in the room. Yeah. Right. The only way we are going to move forward is if the team gets back. Yay! Up. All right. Yeah. Let me go. One all right. Day, I believe Alcatraz is waiting. Yeah. For no the shit. Day. We'll be keeping an eye on your stream from here. Oh, good. Can't wait. And a fucking team viewer of my ass while I'm out there, huh? Thanks. Ugh. All right. Alright, Herman Ubis, right, he's the mayor, what can right? I do for you, 1K? Yeah, I ain't, uh, I'm fucking... What do you think about the blah 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 we found? They all sound very promising, Oh yeah, course. very guarded Apparently, answer. Apparently, it's possible to just <clears throat> magic things into existence now. Oh. But what is the cost, 1K? I don't know, There's it isn't... always a cost. I mean, yes, there is always a cost. Um... It's weird. I guess we have to rescue Byron. I agree. We can't just leave one of our most important citizens in that death trap. Look, all right, to be fair, I was looking around, but Yakut was like, oh, get back to the VTOL. We got to get out of here, blah, blah. It's like, whatever, that's what he it's sounds like. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Uh, uh huh. All right, whatever. Let's, let's go out there. Let's go solve some puzzles. Maybe rescue Byron. What did the mayor say? Feeling up to it. I convinced him that we need to keep going until we found Byron. Did he want us to leave him behind? No, he's just concerned for our safety. And he's right to be. I mean... But we're going back anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we're at sleepy time now. Okay. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> Great trials lie ahead of you, my child. Uh-huh. But your choices will determine the future. Uh huh. Wow, gee, thanks. That could have been an email, Elohim. <laughs> Didn't need that. Melville, are you receiving? <clears throat> yep. Welcome back to the mysterious island, everyone. Oh, thank you, Melville. How's the situation? Whatever Byron did seems to have sent the whole system into some kind of lockdown. I can't access any of the terminals, although I suspect 1K. Hell yeah, because 1K one K is awesome. Well, oh wait, uh. To the data stream, the system assigned him a user oh no, that's Melville the sitting there. It's like, wow, did we change seats? Which means I'll need your help, 1K, because a lot of stuff doesn't seem to be working. Have you tried solving okay. the puzzles? Check it out and see what you can fix. But please remember, what matters most is finding Byron. <sighs> um. <laughs> yeah, we're an Ed's password. That's right. <laughs> See, that's why you always leave an SSH session active before you restart the demon. You idiots. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, okay, wait, so what are we doing? We're going to the next section, right? That was the whole deal? Oh, we could go deposit our stars, right? I don't know that that's gonna do anything necessarily, but at least they'll, we don't need to carry them around with us, right?
Um, that's stupid. That's stupid. Oh, it's all in there. What? Is there not a path in there? Oh, here. Alright, well this should be up to half of them, right? <clears throat> okay, I'ma i I'm am call it now. We do all the stars and shit, and Byron comes back. That's gonna be what that is, I bet. Now that chirping sounds like crickets, actually, maybe. I guess it is starting to turn evening in game time, I suppose. Still a little bit early for the crickets to be out, I think, but, you know, they're trying. <clears throat> oh, the... Oh, right. Isn't it, like, down below or something? Okay, well, I was hoping we could get a good leg up on the next section here, but we spent an hour fucking around with the murder pyramid and then back to the city, so we'll see what we do here. We're playing catch up a little bit. Oh, really, Melville? Well, Byron could have used that like 30 minutes ago. In fact, I'm gonna need you to search for more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. I mean, you know. Been sticking my hand in a lot of glowy bits, so what else is different here? Oh, yeah, this looks neat. No snow in sight at the very least, so we got that going for us. All right. Uh, so where are we at? Area, there seems to be a problem with the with the, the your, uh... that makes the Tetromino bridges. Okay. That means you can solve the puzzles, but you can't activate the tower. Okay. Look for a lab that lets you connect to the data stream. Okay, I guess so. I already found it. I'll send you the coordinates. Oh, jeez! Look at that, Alcatraz. Already fucking on point with that. What a good first officer. Oh, that music's pretty good, too. Now it's getting, getting fancy. All right. So let's see what we got. Standard stuff, right? Two lost puzzles, eight normal puzzles, a lab, and probably two stars. Yep, and then the gold gate thing, which I don't think we can do anything with yet. So, all right. Looking good. Oh, this is very pretty. Look at this water. Oh, man, it's so good. Okay, well, we've got eyes on one, two, three, four, five, and a bunch of question marks. And the main bit up there that we can't do on account of Melville saying that, oh, you can't do it. Um, but all right, let's see what we got. What's, what's the new, new puzzly bits here? Phase entry. Okay. Oh. Okay, teleporty bits. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And we got boxes. And there's the thing under there. Uh, okay, yeah, I got it. I know what's going on here. We just kind of, oops, no, 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 no. Put that there. Put that on the platform. There you go. Oh. Okay. Not like that. I need the box. Oh, I get it. I get what's going on here. I need to pick up the box. And then teleport to the thing, right? And I'm still holding the box. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, now we can send both across, right? Whee! Excellent. <clears throat> oh, can we actually take that with us too? Oh, yeah, we certainly can. Not that we need it, because we can just do bonk, bonk, and oh, we actually need the fan. 
Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need that box back. I might have to reset this. Actually, how's this gonna work? Oh, no. Duh. I can just use the dumb teleporter. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Whee! Easy. Okay, so we got the new teleporty bit. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, looks like there's the, uh, the Sphinx bit here. Alright, what do we got here? Hmm, look at that. Hmm, 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 hmm. I imagine that took a picture for us. Yeah, it sure did. Okay, I like that. I like that feature. I wish they would let you expand it, just in case, but I do like that they do that for you automatically. That's very good. Okay, teleports, blah, blah, blah. Okie dokie. Okay, so one of the star things has been identified. Excellent. That looks off the path, so that's probably one of the lost bits, huh? Or maybe that's just number two. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably just number two. Oh, and Melville. What's up, Melville? Oh, that that's it? Just the little finger guns? Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Um, what's going on with the mega structure, huh? Now I suspect Byron is still logged in, uh -huh. and his presence has thrown everything out of whack. <laughs> Entire subsystems are locked down, and everything that depends on those subsystems is disrupted. Dude did an RM slash dash RF, and when he shouldn't have. Um, uh, have you heard anything from him now? There was a short burst of noise on the frequency we used to communicate, but that could have been anything. That uh, could have been anything, yeah. What can you tell me about Cornelius? He taught me a lot when I was young. Uh -huh. Nowadays, people just know him as the museum curator, but back then, he was closely involved with every engineering project, and he was brilliant. Okay. When he encountered a problem, he'd always remain calm and keep working at it until he found a solution. I wish I could be that patient. Well, you know, none of us is perfect, right, Melville? Uh, why didn't Athena and Cornelius just vanish together? If I had to guess, <clears throat> I'd say so that Cornelius could still go back for anything they needed. Mm. He was always leaving on expeditions anyway, looking yeah. for materials for his projects. Uh-huh. I mean, sure. I mean, I should get back to it, but yeah, sure. Never played Mist. I had a friend that did. He's done a notebook full of obscure scribbles. Yeah, Mist was one of those games where my first exposure to it was when I was like seven or eight <laughs> as a wee bab and i had no fucking clue what i was doing of course because i was a dumb kid um but then when i was a slightly less young kid i bought the um the ds version of it and then i started to actually be able to do things which was fun and cool so i really like mist mist is a great game um, what do we got? Reds? Yeah. Reds, reds, reds. What's that gonna do? That's gonna open that, right? Uh, do I care about that opening that? I guess we can use the jammer on something, right? Oh no, that's the tunnel bit. Um, uh, do we have an angle on the other thing here, or is that a big ol' no? That's a big ol' no. Oops. There like that. Also got a blue bit. But I suppose what I should do is do um, this. Oops. Get this in such a position that we can grab it through the hole. Alright. Uh, can we grab that like that? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. Because then we can do that, and that, and that. Hold that open. Oops. Let's back that up a bit. Back that up a bit more. Now that one's open. And we get a little teleporter. Okay. Um, 
and then we've got the blue bit, right? So now we should be able to pull this out of this segment here. Just by going like this, right? Bonk. And now we've got blue, blue, bonk there. And now that's open, I guess? Yeah, okay. And then I can use um, tunnel bit, teleport, tunnel bit, set the teleport through there, use it, and now we're through. Doki. Hmm. I suppose we should keep an eye out just in case the second star thing is uh, <clears throat> is a Pandora laser thing, because this seems like it would be a a good source of both blue and red laser. that okay no that's the sphinx one over there so okay it's not that ah see there's already a laser thing up there that we've eyeballed so you know what here let's do let's give it red just in case there we go and we'll see what that turns into if anything oh hey Yakut, what's up 1k what's up yeah no that's what i asked you what's up uh, what do you think of the southern regions? The southern part of the island is a natural desert. Yeah? Basically just due to the chemical composition of the soil. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to work out why it's so warm, though. It's a desert! It could be a warm ocean current. Or Deserts are warm, the mega typically. Thermal output. Yeah, okay. New Jerusalem doesn't have the kind of equipment I'd need to figure that out. Well, what would, though? Um, do you think Byron's all right? I hope so. Hey, well. I understand why he was impatient. But he should have been more careful. Hell yeah, he should have been more careful. By the way, that was our score. We unlocked two of the three things. Like, that was... We we were supposed to go in there. Um, did you know Cornelius? Yeah, everyone knew Cornelius. Oh, well, that's After you not Staphius what I asked. retired, he was the only one left who was there since the beginning. Okay. Except I guess none of us really knew him after all. Mm -hmm. We all thought he was lost in the past, always studying the archive and the simulation. I mean, okay, sure. But he actually had all these secrets. I mean, and a daughter. I guess, technically speaking, right? Um, are you disappointed in him? No, just surprised. Eh, okay. Maybe a little sad that he felt he couldn't trust anyone with the truth. Hey, you, well, I mean, you think he's hiding something? Uh, what did you do in New, New Jerusalem when we were there? Mostly just made sure Pellegrino didn't mess with the <laughs> Alright, that's we fair. We only have a handful of them, and while they look cool They the sure outside, as fuck do. The truth is they're held together by gaffer tape and good intentions. <laughs> There's a reason... <laughs> Toothpicks and duct tape, baby. Um... Ah, uh, oh boy. Oh no, we could go. We could do like the sarcastic answers, or we could do like the the deep ones. Uh, and willing to invest efforts in the kind of remain functional. To learn to live with less, to be more creative. You're doing that. Um. No, like society's unwilling to invest effort and shit, right? When you put it like that, it seems hard to argue. Yeah. More and more stuff isn't working anymore, and eventually there will be consequences. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Which means we should fucking head it off right now while we know about it, right? All right, thanks, Yakut. Always the pep talk that we needed. Oh, uh, by the way, I already solved that puzzle. You don't need to do that one, but you know you can go go take a look if you want. It's fine. Um. All right. So we just powered up that red over there. Yeah. So there's almost certainly now a Pandora laser thing. But let's see, what was that? Puzzle 2, right? We could turn that to blue if we need to. That's easy. Easy shit. Mm, looks like we could have possibly line of sight from there as well. <clears throat> that looks to be, that's number 4, and that looks to be only maybe red. So maybe we'd like blue instead. Well, whatever. <laughs> IRL you coot, very level-headed, easy to talk to, definitely more of a Melville. Well, you mean you're more of a realist? Like, I peg Melville as a big-ass realist, and I can appreciate that. 
for sure. Oh, I guess we're in number three. Um, teleport. Okay, this is where it would have taught us to use the teleports through walls. You know what? We already knew about that, though, didn't we? Oh, there's another one there. Uh... Oh, I see. Wait, we can't... Uh... Well, actually, we can, right? So we can just do this. Let's go out here. Can't take the driller through its own thing. Yeah, we knew that. Oops, I think I did this backwards. I need to do this, right? Need to grab this motherfucker. Uh, so we can do kind of the whole leapfrog billabop, right? Um, hmm, wait a minute. Wait, actually, I need I need this one first so that I can put this one outside. Oops. So I can put this one outside, right? So I can warp into there and be like, hey, uh, I need to put then this one through here first so that I can warp outside with this. And I'm gonna move this over just in case I need to get back out. Go into there, there, and then honk bonk, we're in. All right, there we go. Order of operations, right? Sure, there's not another like, little hidden laser bit that we need to worry about here. Okay. Got one big ass question mark over there, apparently. Can we uh, jump our butts up there? Come on, use those fucking mountain climbing skills, 1K! Uh, eh. 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 Come on, I'm almost there! Get up there! <laughs> Alright. It's clear they don't want me to do it like that. But I want to. Alright. Uh, oh, this is probably the... Um, feels like this... Oh, it's one of the hidden ones. Yeah, alright, great. Minimalism. All right, what do we got? We've got a jammer, a detachable fan, red laser bit, and a little button to something else. Okay, well, let's see what's up there, I guess. Uh -huh. Teleport, okay, a button, which, oh, I see. Huh, okay, okay. And then this, which we need the jammer for, right? Yeah, okay. What? Well, I'm gonna borrow this for now. I'm gonna borrow this for now so I can do... Can we teleport through... Force fields? We cannot. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I see. Need to get back up there. Um, I need that there. So then we can just go zerp. Open that. Um, and then teleport up here with the jammer. Zerp. Ah, then we need other things like this. And this. Which opens that. Which, uh... Oh, there's a laser thing there. Or, no, that's an accumulator. Uh... Okay. Can I, um... No, I need that jammer there yet, huh? Well, alternatively... Yeah, alright, fine. Let's just see what's down here then. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Red laser. Um, 
<clears throat> can we still... So what does that do? What is that power? Just the... I don't know what that powers. Oh, there's a laser up there. Hey, look at that. Or, supposedly? Can we not get that from here? Or is it just being blocked? Uh... Okay. I am confused. Is that not a red output? Is it being blocked by something else that my render distance is not showing me? Oh! You might be right about that, actually. Let's see. No, that's powering something else. Maybe that's the fan? Uh, I think either way I might be stuck here. I might have fucked this up. That's interesting, though. Okay, so I need to get this out of here. Which means I need the, the thing. The teleport. Oh, and I can just do that from here. I'm not sure if I could target that. Okay. Uh, okay, and then there's that. I guess it was just out of range? Oh, that, uh, that button opened this gate here. That's interesting. Um, alright. Uh, now what, though? I guess we don't need this open for the time being, right? But I do kind of need to put something on that bow. Oh! Fuck. Uh, all right. Yeah, jeez, that's a that's a weird line of sight. I figured I wouldn't be able to do that. But all right. Uh, I'm gonna need this fan back. I think. Um. I suppose they're gonna let me kind of juke this out, right? Like. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Okay, uh, give me the give me the laser bit. I guess we don't need that there. We do need something to weigh down the thing, though. So let's just do that. We'll take this down with us so we can open that up. Get the teleport back up there. Uh, that sh that gate should now be open, right? Yeah, there we go. And now we're definitely in range. Yep. Okay. Now we can do the old switcheroo thing again. That. That, 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 that. Okay. Weird. I guess we were just out of range where it didn't connect. Seems strange to me, but whatever. Got it. Okay. You know, a couple of years back... We went on a scavenging expedition to an ancient industrial complex south of New Jerusalem. How ancient? It was enormous. Uh huh? Small, an area many times bigger than our whole city. Okay. Just dedicated to manufacturing. Okay. It was incredible to think about the sheer <laughs> variety of The variety, you say, huh? And it made me realize <clears throat> how austere how restricted our lives are. I would say it's probably a you know single factory for making paper clips or some shit. Overgrown. It's kind of pretty, but in a sad way. Well, this one wasn't. There had been some kind of chemical spill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it happened while the structure was <laughs> operational or if something mm -hmm. had just rotted through, but it killed everything. Onk. Even centuries later, nothing could grow. It didn't have to happen that way. No, probably the not. History doesn't have to repeat itself. No, it doesn't, Yakut. But we do have to remember. Yes, we do. That it did happen once. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, that's good observations, Yakut. But preaching to the choir a little bit. Is it merely to be ruled by those who speak one's language or share one's customs? No, that is merely a more convenient service. Right, what puzzle are we actually up to here? Is it to have no obligations, no loyalties? Number four, no. I guess. Huh? That is not to be free, but to be alone. What a freedom from hunger and thirst. Here, we are closer to the truth. Oh, another For freedom extra requires thing life. But one may have all the meat and all the wine in the world and still not be 
free. Yeah, I guess that's the true. Freedom of all is the freedom to speak one's mind. And also the freedom to, to know when not to do that. Without fear. <laughs> and so participate openly and boldly in democracy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is the freedom of the dissenter and the gaslight, the rebel and the fool that is the true measure of whether a city is free. Mm-hmm. I guess so. Oh, Miranda thing here, too. Uh, did our laser thing go out? The early days, Where is that now? Humankind lived in a world of unexplained wonders and terrors. The powers of the elements were understood in terms of gods and spirits. After all, how else could one explain thunderstorms and earthquakes? Uh, as the well, realm of scientific knowledge electricity expanded, and tectonic the plates? Realm of the mystical began to shrink. The sacred grove, as Hegel wrote, was reduced to mere timber. But as superstition retreated, another thing was lost. Meaning. In a purely mechanical universe, people yearned for the comfort provided by gods and spirits. But there was no way back. But what about the beauty of the universe? The perfection of everything around us, couldn't they see that? Not sure I can see that, Miranda. But I do think there was another way, a way forward instead of back. Faith not in an invisible world, but in ourselves, <coughs> in each other, in the inherent value of consciousness and civilization. They never really found it. But I think that in those last months when their whole species was dying, they caught a glimpse of it. And that's how your mother was born. Yeah, but you don't really need the mystical and supernatural to find peace. Like, that's just... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about some of that stuff. Um, Alright, so we got a box, we got a teleporter, we got a laser bit, red source, etc. Uh, how is that gonna work? Because the red thing is over there behind a gate. Assuming there's a fucking ladder on the other side, just in case I get myself in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I guess we can get the... I didn't know if we had the angle on that or not, but okay. This is, yeah, this is pretty easy, actually. Let's grab that. Uh, grab this, do that, and I guess that... And also that, and teleport in, and do that, right? So that opens that. That gets the teleport back out, which, oh, we don't even really need that, do we? Uh, what was the point of lighting this one up here? I'm not really 100% sure about that. Probably didn't need to do that. Um, but I do need to get back out of there, so yoink. Grab that, that back out, need that, and that, because then we've got both the teleport and the box. Oh, and then there's another thing. Um, uh, you know what? We're going to reverse those. To go, uh, well, try to reverse those. Uh, well, actually, how's that gonna stay open without the little laser bit thing? I guess, I don't know. Hmm. Because there's not another little thing to do that with. I guess we just need... also hold this one open? It doesn't. Ah, uh, figures. We did all that stuff already. That one was already held open. We got the thing out of there. Oh, gee. Whoa, fucking. Melville! I'm working here! Um... Actually, can I teleport through a, a force field? I can't, right? 
No, it doesn't let me do. It doesn't like me doing that. Okay. Oh, but I can just stand there and teleport. Yeah, you dummy. Okay. Ugh. Good solve, one K. Thanks, Siku. It really wasn't, but thanks. <laughs> Going back over there. Oh, good. We got a PM from somebody. Can't wait to see who that's about. Oh, it's Helga. Yeah, it's quick chat. Glad to hear that you're keeping an open mind on the Somnodrome. Blah, 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 blah. Don't pretend to know what you should do if you find one that's working. I just don't want you to decide in advance. It's far too much fun to keep everyone guessing. Uh, okay. I mean, I still disagree with uh, whoever's assertion it was that that was just like, yeah, you can't do this on a whim. It's like, I wasn't. <laughs> Like I said, I'd keep an open mind precisely because I needed more time to think about it, not because I was deciding to just be like, blah, blah, blah. Where the fuck that was? Probably Jeremy. Jeremy sounds like one who would do that. Little shitter. Okay, well, that's number four. Um, still have to find where the uh, other laser bit is for the, uh, the Pandora puzzle thing. Cute, you're still good. All right. Actually, what's this up here? Is that literally not? Yeah, okay, that's number five. Um, there was a glowy bit we could stick our hands in. So that's what Melville wanted us to do, right? Just oopsie. Not strafe off the ledge, but stick our hands in shit, right? All right. Oh, it is ignoring a whole bunch of errors there. That seems bad. Um, surely that's not going to lead to anything terrible, right? Uh, City by the Sea, this is all, it's all really over for good. Decided to take one last trip. Yada. I forget what they did. Shalakaniki, incredible, wild, rugged place. Then I went to Thessaloniki, yada, yada. yada. Um, who am I writing this for? Yada yada, crazy robot project. Okay, so this is near the end of actual humanity, right? Um, blah 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 blah. And our ancestors understand that you can build in ways that make an area more beautiful instead of ruining it. Oh boy. Fucking million dollar question right there. Even if all they cared about was personal benefit, wouldn't that benefit them more? Oh, trying to prisoner's dilemma this whole thing, huh, Miranda? I mean, that's a good point. But boy, howdy, people won't understand that. <laughs> the long run, yes, but people rarely think about the long term. Oh, Cornelius, you got us good there. Um, so there's an incentive to act immediately, you know, some of them were unhappy with the results. Couldn't they see that it was within their control to act differently? Oh boy. Yeah, sweet summer child Miranda right there for sure. Uh, problem solving. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why didn't that read problem solving? It just kind of kicked me out. Oh, there we go. I might have hit the wrong button. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can you point me in the direction of a better timeline? Oh, please. If you find a better timeline, let me know. Uh, humans are problem solvers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's a great thought and vital to understanding our species, but it's not as simple as that. Yeah, that's that fucking the truth. Um, take, for example, the recent extinction of the orangutan. Oh, really? Oh. Sounds like a bad timeline. The orangutan went extinct. The ensuing con conversation about the dangers of unknown pathogens released by human activity. Oh boy. Uh, most of us agree that the problem exists, and significantly, most of us believe that something ought to be done about it. So we have identified the problem, and we have collectively decided to act. Have we, though? Uh, so why is nothing happening? A serious question. A great deal of effort is expended on raising awareness. Suggests that sometimes our problem solving impulses can get stuck on the wrong goals. Awareness is not the issue. Already convinced people that something needs to change, so if nothing changes, we have to wonder why is the will of the people <laughs> being translated into action? Oh boy, where to start with that one? Um, wait, there's a footnote, number one. What was the footnote about? Oh, about Alexander Drennan. Okay. Also capable of being devastatingly sarcastic, but that's another story. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, the problem was that they didn't have enough hope. Oh yeah, because hope solves all the problems, right? Uh, they could see the problems, but they couldn't imagine that one day those problems could be solved. Mm, okay, it's a very interesting outlook. 
These for people to get so lost in the problems of the present that they think nothing will ever change. That's probably true. They lost hope because of the historical circumstances they found themselves in encouraged despair. Yeah, not just the historical circumstances there, Cornelius. Uh, but that in turn meant the conditions could not change. How do you go against history itself? Uh, <laughs> well, lots to unpack in that one. Not touching it. Um, there's his journal, founding New Jerusalem. Oh, poor Yemo. Yemo died today on day 372. Uh, welding and joining the upper levels of the tower, and then he was gone. One careless step, that's all it took. Found the dam, but even Cornelius couldn't help. Yemo was gone. Oof. Oh, that's when there was only 13 of them. Ouch. Hmm. Hmm, that's troublesome. All right, and then recharge. Uh, whoa. Uh, uh, mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Guess we sent something to Melville there, huh? Or this maybe not. Oh, there we go. Charging station. Okay. Fascinating, uh huh. But not relevant. What? I I think a re an improved charging station would be very relevant. That seems like the most relevant, in fact. Weren't they bitching about power issues? Melville, I think that's very relevant. But oh, whatever, what do I know? I'm just the one solving the puzzles. Uh, okay, what are we up to? Number five, right? Oh, and there's also another... Oh, good, a mega thread. Everything good always comes out of mega threads. Oops. Okay instinctually clicked out of it. Um, oh my god. Man, the, the qualifications for megathreads seem to be lower every day. Uh, post your thoughts on the expedition. Keep it civil and good luck. I think the powers of Athena has unlocked are world changing. Is our responsibility to use them? Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> I think we're being tested and Byron failed. What happened to Byron was an accident? Not... Uh, I don't know if it was an accident necessarily. He fucking rushed in. Uh, is there a difference ultimately? Yeah, I mean, there is, sort of, right? No one's actually seen Athena or Cornelius or Miranda. I mean, we saw, like, their ghosts or whatever, right? They'll still be aliens. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, Jacques. <laughs> Settle down there, buddy. I uh, like we need to at least think about the potential of all these new technologies. Maybe the founder's trying to teach us. Yada, yada. Uh, why is everything malfunctioning on the island now? Is it because of Byron? <laughs> Yeah, probably. He was still logged into the system. Presence may be destabilizing it somehow. Or it's Pandora. She seems to want to stop us. Okay, yeah, that's a reasonable guess. I wonder if Pandora is just somehow malfunctioning. It's supposed to protect the megastructure. We can't tell friend from foe. Mm -hmm. The choice of Pandora as a symbol cannot be accidental. And the message is obvious. The megastructure is Pandora's box and we should not open it. Yeah, whatever. Wait, that's the end of the threat? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 13. 14? That's considered a mega thread? Oh, man. I guess when you've only got 1,000 ish robot people, that's what counts as a mega thread. All right. Incredible. Um. All right. What are we up to again? Number five? Number five. Number five. Number five. Or a question mark. Or number five is right there as well. Uh, question marks up there. Circle around to that. All right, number five. Okay. All right, got a jammer bit. Uh, a couple pass through shutter things. Several force fields. Teleporter. Hmm. Ah, we can get all the way through there, right? <laughs> okay, we've liberated that jammer. Oh, I need to do this first, and then do this. So oh, there's another teleporter there. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Zerp. That. That. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, this is good, because then we need to do that. Uh, I'm actually going to put this 
Hmm, wait a minute. I need to get the jam I need to put the jammer out here. Like I can't just Hmm. Hmm. I think I need the jammer out there, right? So let's grab that. So I need it to block that, right? Or Well, actually, no. Can I just zip my way back into there? Can I eyeball it? Okay, I did a bad. I need to get back in there. So I need to reposition that second one. Damn that. Get this within range, right? Or within visual range. Let's not block it by that. That. It's back up there. Jammer back out there. Then berserk and bonk. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh, there's also an actual map marker. I wonder if that's the lab that Alcatraz scoped for us there. Oh, and that looks like the. Oh, oopsie. That looks like the pointer for the uh, laser bit. Oh, look at that! All right, it's a green. It's a green, which means we need to point a green at that motherfucker right there somehow. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, which means that. Oh. Run, 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 run! Oh, come on! Swim faster, 1K! Use your robo-legs. Okay, but we've eyeballed the... the green bit for... for the good old Pandora puzzle there. Oh, uh, uh Yakut, how you doing? Are uh, you good? Alright, very good. Okay, six and change are over there. I'm gonna go head this way first. This looks like it's uh, the other hidden bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's do the hidden bits. The non-hidden bits are easy. Uh, okay, so we've got a teleport up here, clearly, right? Um, can we just... Are you kidding? We can't just slap this up here? Why wouldn't we able to just, like, fucking lift it over our heads, put it up there, and teleport up, and that would be that? Like, are you kidding? Like, that's some bullshit. Ugh. That's some bullshit. But whatever. Like, this is barely- okay, that's head high. But even so, like, come on. All right, whatever. So what do we got? We got some fans, we got a box, a button. We'll need something for that button, right? Okay. Button, can we detach that fan? We can. You want to keep that open, maybe not like that, all right. Uh, here, let's do this. That, so then we can warp in there, put that back on, and now we're good here, and we've got another box, and another fan. Uh, to do what with is a good ass question. You know what? Take that box, put it there, and do this, and do that, and then grab the box again, teleport up there. Oh, wait, actually, uh, oh no, no, I still need to do that, because then I can grab the fan. Teleport back up, slap that on there, and wiggle this box out of here. Okay. Cool, I guess. Can we do that with the teleporter? Yeah, there we go. Uh, wait, shit, how do I get out of here now? Oh, just like that. Yeah. Um, can we do it like... Wait, where, where'd that teleporter scan? Ah! Fuck! 
now. Hopefully that's not important. I think I fucked this up though. Yeah, I sure did. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's probably fine, yeah? Dude. And then, uh... Oh. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have put that on the box? Because that's just going to barely skate over the top. And it's going to be like, nah, fuck you, man. And just very carefully like, go like that. No, it doesn't let me target it now. Oh, I could probably just... Yeah, dumbass. Can I just jump up there? What do you mean I can't jump up there? Fucking mantle up, baby! Dude, 1k. Like, seriously, my upper body strength ain't great, but, like, I could climb up there. Ugh. Maybe I don't need the fan bit. Oh, there's a, a switch. Two switches, in fact. I need the fan bit. Uh, okay. Well, the good news is I can probably still do this, right? Oh, no, I can't, because I need the fan bit from up there. Ah, shit. Okay. Alright, this time I'm going to put it on the box. Uh, wait, am I missing something? No, right, fan bit, fan bit first. Fan bit first, we can open that, do that, put that in uh, that, grab a box. Box goes uh oh wait, no, box doesn't go up. Shit. <laughs> no. Box. I need the box here so that I can jump up there with the teleporter. Right? Put that there. Band it. On there. Box. Uh, here with the teleporter on top. Is that gonna slip it right off the top though? Nope. That puts them both. Alright. That's what we wanted. Because then I can go berserk. And now we're good. Okay. Now. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, I see. Okay. That right there. Uh, yes. And then put that on top of the box. Turn that on. Teleport up. Jump across. Grab other box. That we can then reverse this and get the box up there and climb on the box and get up to, like, the fucking shoulder high wall. Like, fan bit. Switch. Box. Teleport. Jump. Teleport. Wait, what? Okay. Can you not put that up there? Really? You're not gonna... Uh... Sokoban stack this, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. I need to get 
get back up there. <sighs> Boy, like just fucking lift above your head. Or jump and slap it on there. This isn't difficult, is it? I really need both boxes. I figured I would be able to... Slap it below me? No, of course I can't. That'd be silly. Um, alright. Hmm. I've got all the parts, right? I do an exceedingly stupid and just uh, stand on top of the fan to get enough height to do this? Because that would be dumb. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Hmm. Oh, wow. I don't even like what, what, what the hell kind of jump was that? Can't lift our arms above our head, but we can jump off of air. This is fucking incredible. Alright. Um eh. No. That again. Eh. Oh, no, it doesn't let us jump forward onto nothing from that direction, apparently. Weird. Uh okay. Do a full ass jump from up there, but I can't do nothing else. It's like, whee! There goes that. Alright, uh. Oh, <laughs> so I can't jump onto it from midair. Oh, I see. Whoop! <laughs> okay. I mean, fine, but. But now what? <laughs> so I can get back up here. Whoop do you fucking do, Tarantula Town? Uh, how do I get up there, though? Can I just like, very carefully just reach? Really? Really? Are you. Really? Uh huh. The. Okay, I'm standing on nothing. That feels like that's not the fucking solution. But alright, you know what? Whatever. Just, uh, playing within the bounds of the game, I guess. It's just like, get, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Whatever, though! Okay! Okay, that was the second little hidden bit, right? Um, I think we're mostly through this one, aren't we? Just need to figure out the two star things, and we got six, seven, eight. Coot, you got anything more for us? No? I'm good? Alright. And that was the Pandora laser over there, right? And then there's a laser bit under there. Uh... And then that mystery sphinx pattern thing, too, yeah? So we haven't figured out what the hell that means yet. Okay. 
Well, that's fine. Um, number six is over there. Let's do number six, and then we'll probably call it a night. Because that feels like a, a goodly amount of progress despite fucking around in the murder pyramid for an hour. Well, probably half an hour in the murder pyramid and half an hour in the city, right? Uh, translocator. Okay, we got a button. Got a fan. Can we... Oh, no, that's another button. And another button. And a teleporter. Alright, yeah, uh-huh. Which opens that. Uh, which... Okay. okay. Um... Ah, I see. Yep. This is what we were doing before, right? So we need the need the stuff here. Over there. There. And then just take that right out, yeah. Okay. Um and that can we put this up on the thing? Nope. But we can use the box. Climb up on the box to do the thing. Oh, uh, Oh, I see. That opens that. And that. We can jump up here. And then can we uh, zippy zap over there somehow? Where did we put the thing down? It's on the other button, right? Oh, just all the way to over here. Um, well, that really doesn't help, does it? That's all the way the fuck over there behind that wall. Um, alright. Let's hold on to that for a bit. Instead, do this. Maybe go here. Uh, no, that doesn't do anything, does it? Oh, there's an. No, wait. I feel like we're missing one piece. Not the one piece. Clearly need the box to get up there, right? Right, because we can just do that. Yeah, alright, dummy. Good job. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, uh, that is through number six plus the two hidden ones, right? Uh, yeah. Plus the lab we have to go to yet that Alcatraz, I think, marked out for us. Over there, right? There's another hand glowy bit probably over there with that uh, question mark. We've got to figure out the green laser bit for the Pandora Star and figure out the... What's that down there? Oh, that's the other hidden bit. Never mind. And then uh, figure out the, the Sphinx pattern thing. Well, that sounds like something to do next time. Oh, uh, uh, oh wow, they give you an, another little prompt thing. That's neat. Uh, to main menu, please. Okay, uh, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with Tales Principle 2. Uh, despite catching up before, uh, spending a bit of time in the murder pyramid has put us a little bit behind now, uh, so we'll have to catch up a little bit next time as well. Uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST, will be Shmup Book Club. We'll have the new Shmup for month of February, but the two quarterlies are still going, both Karis and Bluish Resurrection Plus. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, will be Long Play. I've got an idea for something to replace Spelunky 2, um, but it does involve a bit of effort to get set up, so we'll see if, how I feel um, by the end of the week if I want to put forth that effort. And if not, we'll just play more Spelunky too, because that's easy. That's easy. Um, well, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.